Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Ran, and today I'm going to be talking about The Gate, which I I would consider this a horror movie just because it is PG-13, geared towards children, and kind of horrific. So the movie is about a young boy and his family who, after a tree is removed, somehow with him and his friend discovering a geode in it, cutting their finger, releasing blood into the hole, some other magical stuff happens, and they have opened a gateway to hell, as you do. After uh, his friend, who's a super awesome heavy metal kid, realizes that the stuff that showed up on an Etch-a-Sketch mysteriously after all these things started happening from one of his death metal records realizes like, yeah, we did open a gate to hell. This is kind of what's going on play for play with recent events such as a levitation that actually happened, not like the ones that we all had at sleepovers when we were kids. Um, this will all lead to hell on earth. And as this is like quintessential 80s kid movie, the parents, of course, left town for the night. They won't be coming back while all of this stuff is unraveling. I'm sure everyone has seen this movie, but I still don't want to spoil it, so I'm going to leave it right there. What were my likes of this movie? I liked that the dream sequences really messed with you. Um, they did hit upon, like, pretty mature topics for it being a movie that is mostly geared towards adolescence like a uh, heavy metal friend woke up in the middle of the night and he sees his dead mother like come to me you know and like that sucks like I couldn't imagine one losing a parent two seeing a deceased parent summoning me and that feeling that he must have had going through him is just heartbreaking and I don't know that they were trying to convey that in the movie but like that hurt me like I felt bad for him and then just to realize that it's uh, someone else's dead animal in your arms. Like, that's that's also just, like, horrible. And that was very effective. And I'm not sure if that was the goal of the scene, but, like, oh, ouch. I liked the, <laughs> the effects for the time. They were very interesting, uh, especially the d dead guy falling out of the wall. Like, that startled me a lot. I've seen this movie quite a few times, but unfortunately, as an adult, I've seen it quite a few times because I was not allowed to watch movies of this nature when I was growing up. Missed a lot of good movies that way, but it is what it is. Um, and to touch on that and my dislikes, I, I didn't think that the little creatures were scary as much as they were just overwhelming because of the sheer volume of them. And then when you, like, smash their little arms or legs off, that turns into what looks like maggots, and that's disgusting. I'm not a bug person, so that, that was pretty gross. Um, there's an eye gouge scene that I was unappreciative of, as I have eye issues. I always seem to pick the movies with the eye gouge. So dang it. What are you gonna do? I've tried to desensitize myself to it very unsuccessfully. So, yeah, don't try to desensitize yourself to eye gouging scenes because it doesn't work ever. And it just makes you think about that all the time. But uh, I do give this movie a solid three out of five. It's, it's a cult classic. You got to watch it. You got to appreciate it for what it is. Or you don't. You don't have to listen to me. But I think that this is one of those must-see movies. You have to experience it. You have to experience how ridiculous it is and like the little nuances of it and the tiny, tiny Steven Dorf baby that is in this movie. He's, he's, he's a, he's a solid part of this movie. I kind of wanted to punt him a few times because he is that really annoying kid in the movie, but I also wanted to punt the girl with mall bangs because those bangs are disgusting. So those are my thoughts. Have you guys seen The Gate? What age did you guys see this? Did you have a completely different perspective than me? Let me know down below. I will put the release year and director and all that pertinent information below as well. 
If you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. Um, also, I did see this. I think it was through the Tubi app, T-U-B-I. I'm sure that it's available on other streaming platforms and physical copies, which we will put down below for you as well. If you'd like to follow me on Facebook, please do so at Reanimator Reviews, and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And um, yeah, watch out for those dead guys in your walls. <laughs>